Welcome back everyone, Mudford here. Today we're out in the shop working on another budget ATV racing video. Um, this is going to be installing a tether. If you're going to race ATVs, you have to have a tether. And most of them don't come with a tether. So we're going to add one. So this is one I picked up. This is one you can pick up from Rocky Mountain ATV. I think it's like $19. This is the one I have on my quad. Jeremiah has a little bit better one on his, but very similar. So I'm going with this one for Grace's quad. And the first thing you need to do when you're going to hook up a tether is you need to find out what style it is. You need to find out if it's a normally open or normally closed. If it's a normally open tether, you're going to have it hooked up one of these to ground and the other one on your ignition and it's going to basically short your ignition out to ground which I don't really like that idea but I guess that's the way some of them are I believe this is uh, normally closed and you're going to put this in line in your ignition and then when the tether comes out it's just going to cut power to the ignition you're going to have an open circuit so let's verify this and make sure that's what we have to test it, you're going to need a volt ohm meter. I actually got scared for a second. I couldn't find mine. I had actually put it away in the drawer it was supposed to go in. That doesn't usually happen. That was the last place I, I looked for it. So we're going to set it on ohms. We'll just set it on 200. It'll be fine. You could use the continuity meter also. Con what I did is I hooked the wires up to the probes on my multimeter. Got it set on ohms. Unfortunately this is a normally open kill switch. So you can see right now the tether is in and the circuit is open. I'm going to go ahead and pull the tether get this over here where you can see it. Whoops. Okay, here's the tether cord. I'm going to go ahead and pull it and watch the ohm meter. Maybe I can pull it. So there, now your circuit closes. So it would let power through it. So that means we need to hook one up to the ignition wire and the other one up to ground to make this work. The Tusk tether kill switch is a normally open switch and when you pull the tether out it's spring loaded and it closes it so what it does is then it completes a ground and then kills your quad wait <clears throat> so what you want to do is hook one end of this on the positive side of the coil and then you want to hook the other side of it to your frame or to the battery negative terminal It'll complete a path to ground and cause your ignition not to work. That's kind of how they work. So the plan is, here's the coil, not really a good drawing of it, but and that's the spark plug wire. So you have a positive to your coil and then a negative. And what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we are going to just tie into our wire. We're not gonna break it. We're just gonna add our tusk tether wire one of them to it and then we're going to hook the other one to ground and then when the tether gets pulled out so we have one of our kill switch wires tied in with this wire right here going to the coil it's black with a yellow stripe and I accidentally cut the wrong one first so I put one of these heat shrink connectors on and that should hopefully keep it in good shape so I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back over it I got the cover pushed on now. That should help keep our wires protected even more. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn the key on. You can see we're in neutral. I have the brake locked on. I'm going to go ahead and start it. So 
Now I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to go ahead and pull the kill switch. Killed it instantly. We'll try it again. There we go. That's just what we need. Handlebars back off and get the front plastic installed and then get all this back together for good now. We've got the tether mounted right here. So here's how it'll work. If she, if she falls off, it'll go like this. Perfect. But I think now she's all set to race.